Mercy. And some of them haven't played at all yet this season. And the faceoff goes to Princeton. Now Andrew McMeekin beats out Cole Brahms, and Princeton controls as we kick things off here in Piscataway on what has turned out to be playing. They, you know, they will bring it to you. Trying to get inside, he gets inside. Good save. Now the goalkeepers are showing out. Chad Palumbo curled in and also stepped in the crease. Right there, Princeton was look, looking to try to get inside once again on that goal line extended. Either get a goal or get rope unit for Princeton, it's worth acknowledging, even with all the guys they graduated. See Princeton caught Rutgers again at the midfield line on substitution. They're very sly on that substitution from the box and from the midfield. Mackesy on the Hezzy. Usually comes swims through and scores. And he shoots it righty. Ho, ho, ho. Coulter Mackesy bringing the juice to open the scoring. Yeah, I think they got a little confused there. Rutgers overplaying his left hand. He came back to his right, and he put it low and away, and it went in. Right there, you'll see it. Not respecting his right hand. Dominant left. Swim move back to the right. Shoots it low and away. Yeah, Rutgers has to be, it can't be casual when you're carrying that ball. That's twice that Rutgers was carrying that ball, and it was taken away by Princeton. They'll come right at you and check your hands and your stick. They're not just going to play position on you. They're going to play defense on you. They go for the takeaways. Now ball flip to number 19, Tucker Wade, freshman midfielder, making his first career start, and he gets on the board. First career start, first career goal. Yeah, Tucker Wade, again, changes direction. He's driving right. He'll come back to his left. You'll see it here, right down the middle. Just tucks it in. Comes right down the middle, down Broadway. You can shoot either side of the cage when you're in front, and from that far out, you have a lot of area where you could pl pl place that ball in the cage. One more look at this goal, and again, slick dodge to so get open for the shot. Tim. Good defense by Hunt. Grand transfer from Towson. Shot clock at 25. Princeton clearly not gun shy when they get inside the 30 yard line. No, and, and Rutgers defense looks compacted. So they're allowing a lot of shots from the outside and they'll, they'll take them. Mackesy with 17 on the timer. Stoller hedges out and it was a mistake. Coulter Mackesy will make you pay with any little inch you give him. Yeah, Mason Edwards, you saw him drop the ball. He's defending right there, you'll see it drop. Mason Edwards a little sl slow on the slide, wasn't able to get there. Wrap around shot. Nobody has been, nobody has had their hands free for a good shot so far. Shane Knobloch all the way up top. See how Princeton extends out? They're not going to slough in. They're going to come all the way out and play. And Shane Knobloch takes a shot and puts it away. Rutgers needed that. And they call on the senior captain, Shane Knobloch. It's amazing how Knobloch in times of need will find a way to boost the morale and the motivation of this Rutgers team. Right there. Shane Knobloch, a guy who's been a starter from the time he showed up here in Jersey and is getting one more opportunity. He's going inside. They have the spin, and Princeton recovers. Nicely done. So Rutgers has won three of the first five face-offs. Something to keep an eye on. On the move, Rutgers got two. Oh, As Colin man. Cardilla, the freshman, who rolled right onto the field and onto the stat sheet. Colin Cardilla, on his last last time he touched the ball, he threw it away. He came back in and said, I'm going to make up for that one. Takes a great shot. Almost a similar shot. Goal line extended. Trying to get a two-man game with Scott. Yeah, with the LSM pace Billings, a Princeton captain tracking him. As the shot clock gets under 25. Kramenacher tried to get his hands free and not able to. Timer at 16 now. Good transfer of the ball there, Cadilla. Nice slide by Princeton. They take it away from Cadilla on double. That's Princeton defense, even after giving up multiple goals, has seemed engaged. Out of Ross's stick. Ross got sick. That was a very busy start for Princeton. Matt Madelon said he's never had anything like it. Five games in the first 15 days of the season. Of course, the Ivies start late, compounded by a snowstorm that screwed up some of the start dates. 
that's what you end up with. Five games, including road tests with Maryland, North Carolina, and Duke. Yeah, I spoke to Coach before the game, and I said, oh, there's a great shot. Well, even if you're tired, when you have offense like Princeton does, you'll be all right. And the Tigers have a two-goal lead. That was just a simple go to the cage from right to left and take it. You have to be on their hands and get stick side. Look at this, just blows by Hun, puts it away. And get position. Pardon Stoller, five straight saves to begin his day, but now he's allowed the last four shots on target in the net. And Princeton swings it well, under 30 seconds to shoot. Plenty of time he gets inside Duck inside. Again. Once again inside. Stoller sits on it, basically. Yeah, he's in the crease. Just Kramer. Donnie Howard, again, gave up a little position on that sweep. Kabiri got put in the turf. It didn't make a difference. Yet another highlight for the outstanding freshman attackman. Kabiri just coming from behind, gets up field, gets his stick and head, the stick head in front of him. You'll see it right there on the push. Puts it away, high to low. Tried to go opposite, and Fakaro just pushed his stick into the head of that ball. And here he is. Oh, it looks like oh, Princeton oh, might have been offside. The Rutgers bench is going crazy right here. And they were. And that is the reason why you don't have your goalie clear it 50 yards. Oh, good look over the top and a shot. And Step goal. down and score. And Jack Amon is fired up as Rutgers offense roars to life once again. Oh, good eyes by Shane Knobloch. He recognized it far and away. He had a moan wide open for a shot here. A moan really took his time, which was good to see. He didn't rush a shot. He wanted to see the placement of the goalie, select the shot, and he got it. Trying to get involved in the game. So sure. Princeton scored the first three. Rutgers answered with two, and then Princeton back-to-back -back goals before that a moan tally. Princeton sliding adjacent here. Sometimes they'll slide from the crease, sometimes they slide adjacent. Can confuse offenses. Cardilla. Oh, oh it bounced in! Gian Forcaro has made some remarkable saves, but maybe that had some topspin. Fooled the keeper. Yeah, well, you know, it was a good shot. It went through a lot of people. Sometimes your eyes are distracted, goalie's eyes are distracted. Sometimes you're just blocked out, you can't see the ball. Yeah. Good face off, clean pass. Good shot. Prince gets the ball back. Plenty of time on the shot clock. You got a full 70 seconds. Persistent. Mackesy. It's that just that simple. You let him bully his way inside like that. And Coulter Mackesy has a first half hat trick. Well, Mackesy just came up the field. You gotta you gotta play him top side. You'll see. Tommy Mac, uh, Mendyke, you'll see where his stick is. It's behind the head of the stick. That stick has to be up the field, head to head. Stick could play to be had. Here's Sean Cameron, Brian Cameron's little brother. Brian, of course, former Rutgers attackman who was part of the Final Four team in 2022. Now an assistant coach oh, at good Holy look Cross. There. The feed and another Cameron scores in the Jersey rivalry. Uh, the double came from the back side. I don't even know how he knew. He must have been directed and communicated. You'll see it right here. How does he even know that that slide was coming from behind him? Usually that side, that slide comes from at you. That slide came. Now Princeton just from the jump has been peppering Carden Stoller. Right now the shot disparity, you see what it is, shots on goal. Total shot disparity is 21 to 11. They like to shoot. There's no doubt about that. 21 shots. Oh, there's a good Tucker one, too. Tucker Way has got his seconds. Bar down. And the freshman midfielder has arrived on the scene here in Piscataway. That was a good shot. Upper deck, strong overhand shot. With the it's a sweep. Let's it go. Get within seven, you're gonna let it go. Yeah. It doesn't hurt that Tucker Wade's a very talented guy. 
High School All-American first team in the state of Maryland, and now it's really going for the Tigers as Andrew McMeekin wins the faceoff, scores the goal, and it's all Princeton in the first half. Yeah, look for a timeout here by Rutgers. They got to stem the tide here. Clean faceoff, comes right down the middle, takes the shot for goal. Goes up by five. Halfway through the second quarter here. Andrew McMeekin, the sophomore faceoff specialist, picked a pretty good time to score his first career goal. Now one more look at it. This was a no doubter. And put it in a good spot, too. Second quarter. Jack Amon has one of the four for RU. And now Knobloch. 35 seconds on the timer. And John Forcaro came up with another. They have and fit that in, those, those pieces into the puzzle. Yeah. Offensive coordinator at Rutgers North in the PLL, the Boston Cannons, with uh, Ethan Rawl and Adam Sherlin Beatties, the Curse Brothers, all of them up. A slide from Marquez White, one of the top short stick defensive midfielders for Princeton. Shot of the move from Amon, that's knocked down by Gian Forcaro. Like Gian Forcaro, seven saves. The Rutgers defense has made some changes here. Adjustments. It goes behind the cage for McAsee, who had the three goals on six shots. Oh. To the doorstep, another simple one. Right outside the crease, and Colin Burns gets into the scoring act. So that started right from behind the cage. You'll see Rutgers double. You'll see it right here. Oh. Right, uh, right before that, Rutgers doubled, and Princeton. Rutgers defense, too, that came in 12th in the country, allowing less than 10 goals a game. Skip Colin Kelly, the Canisius transfer, making his Rutgers debut after getting hurt the final week before the season opener. On a five starters that Rutgers got back for this game, compared to their lineup Tuesday against Detroit Mercy in the one-sided win. Ross working on a short stick, but you see right there, Pretty nice, nice shot. shot. Yeah, Sharon, it's at Jack Amon. Ross Scott has been blanketed most of the day, and so that means he's got to feed the ball like he's done today. Just what we were talking about. You'll see the double on here. Ross Scott draws the short stick. Princeton knows they want to switch off and bring the long stick on him. As they do that, Ross Scott turns, transfers the ball quickly, and then we have an open. Do it right by giving the ball to this man right here. Knobloch somehow keeps it through the double team. Stutter step. Oh. And John Forcaro got it again. There are some moments. The Princeton defense. Rutgers may have gotten a goal back, but it's still a big Tiger advantage. Tony Howard did a nice job bending behind. Oh, he's going to get a shot here. Yep. Won the 1v1 battle. And that was it. And Chad Palumbo, the latest Tiger to strike. Well, what Princeton has, they have a nice combination of lefties, righties. Right there, you see Palumbo. He's another good shooter from the left side. They usually start maybe the first week, week and a half of March. Decision was to start a little bit later this year. I don't know the factors involved, but the here comes a shot. Good save. And at the end of the shot clock, Carden Stoller has been free. Oh. An extra man. 53%. And Shane Knobloch has scored more than half of Rutgers' power play goals. <laughs> Kelly's pass deflected. It's a turnover. That's Taken away by Colin Mulshine, the three years. He said we're going to be better at the end of the year than we are right now, getting everybody healthy and integrated into the units on the field that they've sat out of for months in some cases. Moving shot, Princeton firing at will. Their offensive players finding the target with ease. Sean Cameron, Brian's younger brother, has two goals. Yeah, great shot here. Just your basic sweep. Again, runs right by Rutgers defender. 125. 
Rutgers will have this for most of this quarter. Oh, good save there. Quick release. Dante Coolis, first time we're saying his name. And pushing the back on Coolis will confirm Princeton. They're going to hold it. Try to get one more shot here before the end of the third quarter. And Tucker Wade Gets matched hung. up with Brandon Hund. Yep. Wade's got his first two goals today. And here's Mackesy, who scored three times. Palumbo. Oh, look inside there. Good save. Punishing hit. It's Did Stoller keep it out? No, they call it no. a goal. What's the call? Timer expired. Yeah, even still does not put a damper on what Wade's accomplished. And now clean win for Andrew McMeekin, who feeds, and it's tapped in. Kabiri took the shot. His old teammate Colin Burns was there screening. I don't know who had the last touch on it, but I do know that found Peter. I think he might have went off Kabiri, not off his stick, off his body. Hard to see here, but in any case, it went in the back of the cage. See the replay here. There's a shot. Oh, clean shot in. Several shots off in the 60 seconds and also restarts. They're going to take their time now, I would think. Maybe it's not in the DNA for them. We'll see right here. No, they're going to go. They're going to go. And <laughs> deflected wide. And in the crease, too. Looking sharp before they take on Cornell. Gian Forcaro got another. Should be the expectation at this point, talking about the the lacrosse for life foundation, or lacrosse for life event. Now he's had a great day. Scored on there for just the sixth time, and it is Ross Scott who tallies it. Yeah, just as we speak about it, that Ross Scott has been blanked out today. He was able to come from behind the cage and put one home for all you. Right here, good pick right there. Got inside, sold the outside, went inside. Able to get a good shot off, good goal. Yep, the perfect path picked again by Ross Scott. And that is the 100th goal on years. Only 11 guys now have scored 100 goals or more. That's pretty remarkable. That's some accomplishment. 100 goals, I don't know if I scored a whole 100 goals in my, since sixth grade on. <laughs> that includes practice. <laughs> Good shot Ooh, there. Knocker scores one. And back-to-back -back tallies now for RU. And Tanner Krummenacher's first goal of the day as well. Rutgers starters on attack finally coming alive here in the final 10 minutes. Well, good to see at least a little optimism and offensive prowess from this Rutgers team. Better late than early. Not really, right? <laughs> A better late than never. Scott sends it up top, 22 on the timer. Hook pass, got interrupted, and Jack Amon was detwigged. Turnover. And Michael Kelly bolting into the zone. He still got it, and Kelly scored it. Coast the latest coast. guy to score his first career goal. It's the shorty, Michael Kelly. Well, it all started down here on defense by Princeton. Tereski makes an errant pass. Princeton's off to the races, and they press. They're going right to the hoop. Six-yard shot. That makes it easy. Now Princeton, meanwhile, opens with Cornell on Sunday, and then Harvard and Dartmouth to end the month. Ooh, Rutgers trying to swarm. That one hits the right pipe. Cornell coming up with a surprising, not that they lost, it's the way they did to Penn State. Just Good to have another couple thousand in the stands again for this one here at SHI Stadium. So we hit the final minute. Knobloch, five hole. And gravy for Shane Knobloch. What's his third point of the day, including a pair of goals. No, he's probably happy that went in, but I'm sure Shane Knobloch, he's such a competitor. He hates to lose that young attack team for Princeton. He's doing a nice job bringing that whole offense along. Now Princeton is taking the Maestro Cup home. The Tigers lead wire.
wire to wire. And for the first time in almost a decade, the visiting team comes into the building and takes it out of here. It's Princeton with a 